Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, where I cover vampires, werewolves, and other supernatural creatures. In this video, we're going to be looking at the television show Teen Wolf that premiered in 2011. The show had six seasons in total and a movie that came out in 2023. We're going to explore the werewolf species, their abilities, weaknesses, and the origins of their curse that can be traced all the way back to Zeus and the Greek gods. If you enjoy videos about werewolves and other supernatural creatures, leave a like and subscribe for new videos every week. Before we get into the werewolves, I'm really glad to announce this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I've actually been using HelloFresh for a few months now and enjoying it a lot, so I was excited for a chance to work with them. Sometimes I get stuck eating the same things over and over because I have a really busy schedule, but with HelloFresh I get to try new foods all the time and they're really easy to prepare. This week I made some smash burgers, honey garlic chicken wraps, and Tuscan sausage linguine. They send you all the ingredients you need in the right portion so the prep is as easy as possible. Every meal I've had from HelloFresh has been great. Try something new yourself. They have 40 recipes to choose from weekly with options to please even the pickiest eaters, aka me. If you're in a hurry and need something ready fast, look for the quick and easy recipes on the HelloFresh menu, including the fast and fresh options ready in just 15 minutes or less. You can also add extra items to your box. HelloFresh Market has new snacks, meals, and more to add to your weekly order, like their s'mores bundle and other desserts. I often add bagels to my order. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code KOGAN16 at checkout for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That's 16 free meals plus free shipping if you use my code KOGAN16 at HelloFresh.com. Thanks so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring the video. Do you know the myth of Lycan? Let's start off with the origins of the lycanthropy curse in Teen Wolf. The story begins approximately 2,000 years ago. Before the Greek gods ruled on Mount Olympus, there was the Titans. They were the previous generation that ruled, but were eventually defeated by Zeus and the gods of Mount Olympus. The gods were worshipped and honored, but some Greek citizens believed they owed their lives more to the Titans than the gods. One of these men was Lycaon. Not only did he refuse to honor the gods, but he tested them. Lycaon invited Zeus to a large feast and attempted to feed human flesh to him to see if he really was all-knowing. This infuriated Zeus, so he destroyed the place with his lightning bolts. He punished Lycaon and his sons by turning them into wolves, making them the first ever werewolves. When Styles is researching werewolves, he finds this page about Lycaon. It says he was the cruel king of Arcadia. He tried to feed Zeus human meat and was cursed. It also said this, People believed that a person who became a wolf could be changed into a man if he did not eat human meat for 10 years. Otherwise, they would have to stay in their wolf form. I guess since werewolves exist today, Lycaon could not resist human meat. The story about Zeus cursing King Lycaon is a real Greek myth. In the most popular version of the story, the meat that Lycaon tried to feed Zeus was one of his own sons. Zeus blew the place apart with lightning bolts. The lesser known part of the story is that after Lycaon and his sons were cursed, they sought out the druids for help. Druids are wise, can use some magic and have the ability to shapeshift. Lycaon managed to find them, but they could not remove the curse that Zeus had placed on them. But they could teach him and his sons how to change to their human form. After teaching the first werewolves how to change between forms, the druids became important advisors and healers for the wolf packs. They would become known as emissaries, and they would play a secret but very important role in werewolf society. The word druid in Gaelic means wise oak, but there is another kind of druid known as a durak. According to Dr. Deaton, durak means dark oak, a name for those who went down the wrong path. Over millennia, the werewolf species grew their numbers and formed many packs. They also underwent some changes. The original lichens were turned into true wolves, but today, werewolves descended from them take a form that resembles a half-human, half-wolf hybrid with glowing yellow eyes. Their transformation leans more toward human, but certain strong or unique werewolves can have a wolf form similar to something from Van Helsing. I will talk about some of these unique werewolf forms in a bit. There are a few ways someone can become a werewolf. The first way is to be born a werewolf. If you are a lichen from birth, you will have an easier time learning to control your anger and animal instincts because it's part of your inherent nature. The second way to become a werewolf is to be bitten by an alpha, aka a pack leader. 
According to the hunters, an alpha can also turn someone by scratching them if the wounds are deep enough. Werewolves that are turned will have a slightly harder time coming to grips with their abilities as they have to learn them rather quickly and didn't grow up with them. They are just as strong as born werewolves though. There is a third way to become a werewolf, and that's drinking water from the paw print of a wolf. This has only happened once and is probably not a guarantee. In other legends, you must drink from the paw print on a full moon, so maybe that's what happened here. Werewolves are not immortal, but do live longer than humans. The oldest known werewolf in the series is around 110 years old and appears middle-aged. This means they could possibly live up to 200 years old or longer. They age very similar to most other supernaturals in the series. Werewolves draw their supernatural power from the moon. A full moon will forcibly change them into a wolf form if they're not experienced in controlling themselves. Newly turned lichens will usually be locked up somewhere for their first few full moons so they don't go on an accidental killing spree. During the full moon they are stronger and have heightened abilities, but it also causes them to become feral and bloodthirsty, so they must be careful. There is something called a supermoon. This is when the moon is especially close to the earth and enhances their strength even further. But once again, it also makes them even more bloodthirsty and unpredictable. The reverse effect happens when a lunar eclipse occurs. The moon is covered in the shadow of the earth. During this time, werewolves will be stripped of their power and are basically human until the eclipse is complete. Werewolf hunters and others are known to try and take advantage of this event to kill especially strong lichens, or as many as they can. There are three types of werewolves in the show. Alpha, Beta, and Omega. Some types of werewolves have a corresponding eye color. The weakest of the werewolves is the Omega. They are considered the lowest rank among werewolves and sometimes don't have a pack at all. They are seen as outsiders and are often picked on and tormented by the rest of the pack if they're in one. They have yellow eyes just like a beta werewolf, which is the next type. Beta werewolves are the most common. They are individuals who have been bitten by an alpha werewolf or were born a werewolf. Betas have considerable strength, speed, and agility. Their abilities are usually lesser in comparison to alphas, but it varies person to person. There will be some betas stronger than some alphas. The best way to explain it is if there were two identical strength werewolves and one became an alpha, the alpha would be stronger. Betas are loyal members of the werewolf pack and follow the lead of the alpha. They are portrayed as protectors and allies and are crucial in maintaining the balance of a pack. At the pinnacle of werewolf hierarchy are the alpha werewolves, easily identified by their red eyes. Alphas are known for their enhanced physical abilities, heightened senses, accelerated healing, and increased resilience. To become an alpha, you must kill another alpha. Once you kill them, their alpha spark and enhanced abilities will pass on to you, as well as their red eyes. They're not simply leaders of the pack. Their supernatural abilities are inherently stronger. It's as if being a leader awakens something inside them. Or possibly, the alpha spark is something inherited from the original werewolves. Alphas possess the unique ability to control and command werewolves they create. They also possess something called the Alpha Roar, which can rally and inspire other werewolves or instantly make them submit. Alphas can call on the ones they have turned telepathically and can even force them to take their wolf form. There's actually a small chance that when an alpha bites someone, they could become another supernatural instead of a werewolf, such as a were-jaguar or a kanima, which is someone who can shapeshift into a lizard-like creature. Apparently this happens when a person's body rejects the bite to a certain degree. Aside from an alpha, there's something known as a true alpha. They are a rare and extraordinary phenomenon in the Teen Wolf universe. They only occur once in a lifetime and are not created through the typical process of killing another alpha werewolf. Instead, they ascend to their status purely through the strength of character, inherent goodness, and sheer willpower. True alphas are very strong. Their powers and abilities surpass even the strength of an ordinary alpha. Their strength lies not only in physical attributes, but also in mental strength and the ability to lead their pack. They will always do the right thing and are unwavering in their bravery. Unlike a normal alpha werewolf, true alphas often emerge unexpectedly, chosen by a rare alignment of circumstances and qualities in that person that make them destined for greatness. 
Something unique to the true alpha is that their alpha status can only be taken by a beta of their own creation, whereas any beta could take the status away from a normal alpha. True alphas have the same red eyes as normal alphas. Some werewolves in the show have blue eyes. This is not a certain rank of werewolf, but the consequences of taking an innocent life. A werewolf that has blue eyes says this, Taking an innocent life will take something from you, a bit of your soul, making it darker, dimming the once brilliant golden yellow into a cold steel blue. If a werewolf with blue eyes becomes an alpha, their eyes will turn red still. However, once you have taken an innocent life, it's impossible to become a true alpha. At least, that's what they had established before the movie. In the 2023 Teen Wolf movie, a werewolf with blue eyes becomes a true alpha when he sacrifices himself to save his friends. So, I guess it's now possible for a blue-eyed werewolf to become a true alpha. It's just extremely rare. Even more rare than a normal true alpha, which is already crazy rare. So, Derek is a one in a billion. There is one final eye color that only occurs once. Teal blue. This eye color is unique because it will overwrite all other eye colors, even alpha red. This happened when an alpha consumed the pineal gland of a ghost rider. Not that ghost rider. A ghost rider in Teen Wolf is a spectral creature that takes part in the wild hunt. A supernatural event where thunder covers the sky and ghost riders suddenly appear riding spectral horses and hunt down any unlucky victims. This event can take place anytime, anywhere in the world. Once they capture someone, they take them to the train station Limbo. From there, the captured humans board the train and return as ghost riders. Humans as well as supernaturals like werewolves can be turned into ghost riders. Once they are turned, they lose any of their former self. After the alpha consumed the pineal gland, his eyes changed and he gained some abilities of a ghost rider without actually being one. They also wouldn't attack him. This is extremely powerful because the ghost riders have reality warping abilities. They can literally erase someone from existence. All record of them will be gone. They will even disappear from photos Harry Potter style. Some of this power to erase someone seems to be held in their weapons. They can kill people with their guns or their whip. Riders can also manipulate electricity and live on another plane of existence. This type of alpha with the teal blue eyes is definitely one of the strongest. He could even control hellhounds because that's a gift possessed by ghost riders. It's because their species are related. However, it seems this case with the teal blue eyes is kind of unique. I said this creature was an alpha, but I didn't say he was a werewolf because he isn't. He is a were lion, also known as a Lowenmensch. Although I presume a werewolf could also achieve the same color eyes. There's only been one were lion in the series. He was attacked by the Ghost Riders earlier in his life, but he was lucky enough to not be erased. The whip only grazed him, cutting his back. The Dread Doctors put him in a special vat to save him, and it seemed to have worked. We're told that the supernatural wound infected the fluid in the vat, and he sat in it for 70 years, absorbing the power. So his strength is not solely due to the eating of the Ghost Rider's pineal gland. Scott, who is a true alpha, is no match for a Ghost Rider. Pretty much no one is. They are described as riders of the storm, masters of infinite power. But when the Alpha Lowenmensch approaches a Ghost Rider, it backed away, and he killed it with ease. Ghost hired us off the storm. I said earlier that most werewolves appear as a half-human, half-wolf hybrid. They can take this form anytime they want, or they will forcibly change if they are enraged or their heartbeat climbs too high. A werewolf once turned into a more bestial form with slightly different colored eyes and extra fangs while he was extremely enraged. This is very rare though, and never happened again. Lycans often use something known as a human anchor to help prevent accidental changes from happening. This is someone very close to them that can calm them down during intense situations. Most werewolves take the same form, but there are some, such as alphas, that can take a much larger form. I want to talk about the strongest and most unique lichen forms throughout the show. The most famous werewolf in the Teen Wolf universe is the Beast of Jevoudan. This is based on a true story about an unknown beast terrorizing the province of Jevoudan, France between 1764 and 1767. During this time, there was a mysterious creature responsible for hundreds of attacks on humans, resulting in 113 deaths and many serious injuries. Victims were often found with their throats torn out or half eaten. The creature was reportedly killed several times before the attacks actually stopped. Teen Wolf takes this story and puts a spin on it. 
A French soldier named Sebastian Vallet was on the run from British soldiers and he trips and falls onto the ground, accidentally drinking rainwater from the paw print of a wolf. For some unknown reason, this turned him into a werewolf, but not just any werewolf. The beast was massive and was surrounded by smoke-like shadows. According to the Argent family, the beast was oil black, solid but shapeless, like a shadow pretending to be real. Sebastian went on to kill and attack many people, totaling hundreds of victims. The church declared the monster a messenger of the devil. A woman named Marie Jean Vallet discovered her own brother was the beast, and with the help of Henry Argent, who had the knowledge of werewolves, they set out to kill him and actually succeeded. The Argent family became the first organized group of werewolf hunters and still exists today. This particular event in Gévaudan vilified werewolves for centuries to come. This was the single biggest event that made werewolves feared and hunted. Before this, they existed mostly in secret and relative peace, but now people seen what they are capable of. For some reason, when Sebastian was turned into a werewolf, he took this unique form with shadows that resemble smoke. It could be due to the unique way he was turned by drinking rainwater from a paw print. He says this, Haven't you heard what happens when you drink rainwater from a wolf print? You become a demon wolf. Maybe if other people were turned in a similar manner, they would look similar to the beast but more likely it has something to do with Sebastian's extremely evil nature. Just like the way strong resolve can make someone into a true alpha, someone who is evil and a serial killer will become something else. I guess it's kind of like the force. You have a dark side and a light side, and you could embrace either or. Although I will say the evil werewolves seem to be a lot stronger. Some people have speculated if somehow the curse made Sebastian evil. But Jeff Davis, one of the creators of Teen Wolf, explained in an interview that Sebastian was indeed evil before he was turned. Becoming the Beast only increased his evil nature. Something else that's interesting to think about is that the Beast is one of the strongest werewolves in history. Maybe the strongest. And he's an Omega. This shows that although Alphas have some unique abilities, they are not always the strongest. It really depends on the individual. Something else unique about the Beast is that when it transforms into a wolf and then back into a human, he can keep his clothes intact. This should obviously be impossible, but we even see wolf prints turn into shoe prints. This means Sebastian's body isn't truly changing form but it's more of a supernatural illusion. He's described as wrapping shadows around his human body to transform. He was even later resurrected for a brief time by the Dread Doctors. They were able to bring the beast back somehow by using a teenage chimera as a host. A chimera is a human that's been modified to have abilities of one or multiple supernaturals. Every night, the chimera would turn into the beast until eventually the original host of the beast would replace the chimera completely. This definitely shows that although it's a werewolf, the beast is truly a unique supernatural being. Success. Another unique werewolf form is the demon werewolf. A very strong alpha who was mentally disturbed discovered that an alpha can consume the power of a beta by killing them. This led him to killing his entire pack to grow stronger. The final result was a twisted human form with blue and gray skin that resembled a demon more than a wolf. This goes to show again that being evil or committing evil acts has a profound effect on the appearance of a lichen. The demon wolf was extremely powerful and is usually considered in the top three most powerful werewolves just under the Beast of Gévaudan. There is a unique werewolf transformation that can occur between twins. If both brothers or sisters are werewolves, they can combine their bodies into a single, much larger werewolf. The twin brothers in the show were merged when they killed their alpha werewolf, and they both became an alpha. The lycanthropy curse seems to affect twins differently. Aside from being able to transform together, they can also feel the other's pain. There's only one set of twins on the show that can perform these abilities, so it's not 100% clear if all twins could do this, but most likely they can. The twins were killed in their merged like in form, but they didn't die. They were just unable to take their larger merged form ever again. Styles nicknamed this form Voltron Wolf. Similar to the original Lycans, there are still some that can take the form of a true wolf, but this is extremely rare. Werewolves that are capable of this transformation are the most powerful they can be. 
To achieve this form, you must have perfect balance between your inner wolf and your humanity. Only a few lichens have been seen capable of doing this. It's not clear if a werewolf capable of the full transformation would be stronger than the demon wolf or the beast, but presumably they would because they have completely mastered their curse. Werewolves have many abilities. Super strength able to flip vehicles, super speed able to run as fast or faster than a car, and agility. They keep these abilities while in human form, but transforming will make them stronger. Lichens with more experience can control their transformations. If they want just their eyes or nails to change without doing a full transformation, they can. This is very difficult if you're newly turned. Their senses are greatly enhanced, able to see in the dark, smell just like a wolf, and hear extremely well. This werewolf often uses his hearing ability to listen to someone's heartbeat to see if they're lying. Their glowing eyes can also be used to see supernaturals that are not visible to humans. To go with their super strength, werewolves can also take a beating. They are extremely durable and it takes tremendous force to seriously injure them. Plus, broken bones and gunshots heal in a matter of seconds. Derek Hale was wounded by a special bullet and said that if he cut off his arm, it would heal. I'm not sure if he meant it would heal like a stump or if the arm would regrow. Either way, their healing abilities are very good. Alpha healing abilities are slightly better than a beta or omega, which is partly what makes them so hard to kill. Alphas have the unique ability to heal others, but doing this will cause them to lose their alpha spark, reverting them to a beta, so it's only used in dire situations. Werewolves are usually not eager to give up their alpha spark, considering the power and respect that comes with it. Besides healing, lichens can absorb pain from humans or animals. This is done by touching the person or animal, and the pain will be transferred to the werewolf. While this is happening, you can see a black or dark substance coursing through the veins where they make contact. Lichens that are new to this ability might only be able to dull pain, but those who are better at it can remove it completely. Every lichen has the ability to perform a special ritual that allows those involved to share memories. By sticking their claws into the back of someone's neck, a werewolf can read someone's memories or share their own. They can even suppress or remove memories completely. All werewolves are capable of this, but it's usually only performed by experienced alphas because it requires a lot of skill to not seriously harm or kill the person it's being performed on. Lichens are immune to most human illnesses and cannot get intoxicated by smoking or drinking. We see this in other series where supernaturals with increased metabolism or healing cannot get drunk. We've talked about all the reasons these werewolves are strong, but what are they weak to? The lichens of Teen Wolf have a few different weaknesses. The most common one is a herb called wolfsbane. This herb is extremely poisonous to werewolves. There are different strains of wolfbane, some with unique effects, but most will kill if it reaches the heart. If you're fast enough, there are a few ways you can cure a werewolf of wolfsbane. If you know what strain was used, consuming the ashes of that strain will reverse the effects. You can also burn the wolfsbane infected wound or remove the wolfbane vapor surgically if it's in the chest. Werewolves are harmed by another plant known as Lotharia vulpina. This is a bright green moss that has been used in tea, paints and dyes for hundreds of years. It was also used to poison wolves and foxes. How can something used in tea also be used as a poison? Anyway, in Teen Wolf, Lotharia will not kill a werewolf, but will weaken them for several days until the effects wear off. There was an assassin named the Chemist. He invented a modified version of the canine distemper virus. This is a real virus that is seriously dangerous and contagious for dogs. It attacks their nervous system, respiratory and gastrointestinal systems. The chemist created a modified version of this virus to target werewolves. When a werewolf is exposed to the modified virus, they start to overheat and sweat. Then they will slowly begin losing control of their transformations. They will either be stuck in human form or possibly stuck in wolf form unable to change back. Next, the lichen will begin to bleed black blood from their eyes, nose, mouth, ears and fingers. They will also develop black veins around their face. Lastly, the werewolf will be stricken blind before dying. This modified virus is extremely dangerous, but luckily it was discovered that consuming wild purple reishi mushrooms is a cure and a vaccine. Next is Rowanwood, also known as Mountain Ash. 
Rowanwood can be used as a supernatural barrier against werewolves and other things. It acts like an invisible force field for most supernaturals. If a building is completely surrounded by Rowanwood, a werewolf will not be able to enter. You can also trap a werewolf or imprison them this way. Mountain Ash had to be used to kill the Beast of Jevoudan. This was because it was immune to most werewolf weaknesses. The beast was ultimately killed by his own sister. She made a special spear, comprised of mistletoe and mountain ash, forged with her blood under the full moon. You could also consider loud noises a weakness. Due to Lycan's enhanced hearing, very loud noises or ultrasonic frequencies will incapacitate them. The lunar eclipse could also be considered a weakness because the werewolves are cut off from their supernatural abilities. But this only happens once or twice a year and they only lose their power during the point of the eclipse where the moon is completely covered and this only lasts about 30 minutes to an hour. The last weakness I wanted to talk about was electricity. For some reason, werewolves are extremely weak to electricity. Hunters sometimes use tasers or cattle prods to attack werewolves. They also often use electricity as an effective way to torture them as it seems to cause more pain than normal physical abuse. We see this werewolf hooked up to a car battery while being interrogated. Low amounts of electricity will prevent a werewolf from being able to change. High voltages will easily knock them unconscious and can even kill. It's never specifically stated why they are weak to electricity, but I have a theory. The person who cursed the werewolves was Zeus. And what does Zeus use as a form of attack? Lightning, aka electricity. Maybe he gave Lycans this weakness so he could easily defeat them if he needed to. They tried to trick him once. Who's to say they wouldn't try to return to get revenge? Something pretty unique to this series is that the Lycans are not weak to silver. I watched a couple seasons of the show before I even realized that there was no mention of silver. Chaos. There is one last thing I wanted to mention. The Nogitsune, also known as a Dark Kitsune. This is a 1000 year old demon that's goal is to create chaos because chaos makes it more powerful. In the movie, it revealed that Scott, who is an alpha werewolf, bit the Nogitsune and this turned it into a werewolf. It said this specifically. Do you remember Scott? The gift that you gave me? The bite of the alpha? The power of the werewolf? The creature then removes its face covering to reveal glowing green eyes. Its eyes turned green instead of yellow, red, or blue like other lichens. This could be a unique reaction when a Nogitsune becomes a werewolf. Since it could become a lichen, that probably means other supernatural species could be enhanced by werewolf power as well. The Nogitsune had many abilities of its own, including super strength, speed, creating illusions, and controlling flies. They are also immune to electricity, so a Nogitsune werewolf might be one of the strongest possible combinations. That's my video on the werewolves and some of the other supernaturals from Teen Wolf. Who's your favorite werewolf from the show? Derek Hale? The Demon Wolf? The Beast of Jevoudan? I think mine would be the Beast, because he has that really cool and mysterious transformation. I also found it really interesting how the show manages to mix Greek, Celtic, and Japanese mythology. I was impressed that there's no vampires in the show. They decided to keep werewolves as the main focus and I think that was a good idea. I know it took me a while to cover this series. It has a lot of lore and I wanted to do it justice, so I hope you enjoyed. If there's any other movies, TV shows, or video games you want me to cover, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. It helps out a lot and I really appreciate it. An extra big thanks to my members for supporting the channel. Roderick, Awesome Pea Shooter, Jason Miller, Cyper 2A80 Expensive Skin, Zothras Paradox, Adam Mokabe, Gabriel Ragsdale, Matthew Batson, Dragon Fay Rose, Emily Nixon, Stephen556, Owen Wildish, and Joseph Roman. If you want to become a member, you can hit the join button down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.